All right, in the meantime, I do want to get the impact right now we're seeing in uh, real estate uh, rates and, and market rates, mortgage rates, because of the backup we've seen in some of these other rates, like the 10-year note. Now, uh, there's a little bit of a delay effect with the backup in that and what's happening on the 30-year fixed rate front. It did move to around 6.88%. Others argue with the backup we've seen, it will be well over 7%. Bill Pulte, Pulte Capital CEO, his thoughts on that. What do you think, Bill? I think that inflation's here to stay, Neil. I think you're going to have mortgage rates are going to be high. And I think that housing prices are going to continue to go up. Neil, if what President Biden said yesterday, he said that there might be a tax cut, excuse me, not a tax cut, a rate cut this year. If that happens, Neil, I think you could see housing prices go even higher. So by that argument, I think that, that a, a rate cut, whatever people think of the justification of that, uh, uh, it could be a little inflationary here. But what do you make of it? It could be very inflationary. And the problem is if you don't own a home and you don't own a home right now, you're going to have a two-pronged problem. Number one, you're going to have inflation, which means that just by time going by, the inflation, the house, the cost of the house will go up. The other thing is if the Federal Reserve comes in and, let's say, helps out a politician before an election and reduces rates, even with a high inflation print, you could see those home prices go up, in my opinion, 5, 10, 20 percent. That would be just insane, Neil. You would start to have a buying frenzy again, much like during COVID. So I think right now the good thing is that mortgage rates are high. But if they lower those rates, those, those prices could skyrocket again. Indeed. It, a lot depends on those rates, to your point, Bill. And I caught up with Barbara Corcoran on this very subject. And what she says are some of the seminal inflection points she's looking for for real estate in general. Here's what she said on the matter. This is from Barbara Corcoran rates go down just another percentage point. That's what I'm hoping for by year and prices are going to go through the roof. And the so reason for that, that would be around 6% get yes, to that level. Because everyone will come out and buy. There are probably 10 buyers on the sidelines waiting for interest rates to come down that are actually active in the market. So everybody's going to charge the market. All right. Now she's saying if they come down a point at that time, that would have brought us to around, you know, the, 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 the 6 percent level from the, around the 7 percent level we were at. That might be a tall task now. What do you think? Uh, she's exactly right. She literally said almost what I'm saying. And I think that, yes, if you had 1% uh, decrease in rates, that thing is going to go so high. And, Neil, we talk about affordability, and I talk to you all the time about zoning. The big problem in the country is there's so many regulations around zoning and around putting new home developments. So what's going to happen, Neil, I predict, if rates go down, housing prices will go through the roof, and then what you're going to happen is you're going to have a flood of people trying to get into this stuff, and it's going to be a big problem, and you're going to see it everywhere. We've seen a little bit of inventories pick up across the United States, Neil, because of these mortgage rates going up. But if they lower those rates, you could say bye to those inventories again. All right, we'll watch closely. Bill Pulte, thank you very much.